Hi. Any game becomes better when you can play it with a friend, and cooperative games are a great way to test the strength of friendship and see how well you can communicate with others. They teach teamwork towards a common goal rather than competing against each other. Works of various genres offer the opportunity to join forces, from shooters to platformers and role-playing games. For those looking for a good game to play with friends, in this video, I've gathered the best new cooperative games. I'll start with LEGO Fortnite. It's a completely free game that has become part of Fortnite. But don't worry if you don't like Fortnite, this game has nothing to do with the Battle Royale. In this game, you'll explore a vast open world, battling enemies and building LEGO block defenses. We'll gather resources, hunt, cook food, and engage in construction, erecting various structures from simple huts to medieval castles, and even assembling functioning vehicles. In short, a paradise for LEGO enthusiasts. A distinctive feature is the ability to play the game cooperatively, allowing you and your friends to collaborate for survival. The Outlast Trials The Outlast series has long and deservedly nestled among the top interactive horrors. This time, the Red Barrel Studio decided to experiment a bit and release a cooperative game set during the Cold War era. Players will participate in the nightmarish experiments conducted on people at a mysterious and ominous research facility. In a team of four, players must solve various tasks while evading bloodthirsty enemies. Gameplay features include teamwork to overcome challenging trials and uncover the dark secrets of this place. However, due to the presence of a cooperative mode, the game isn't as terrifying as it could be. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre This is an asymmetric cooperative survival horror game with maniacs and their victims in the vein of Dead by Daylight, but based on the cult horror film The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The game is well-made and exudes a signature dark atmosphere. It may appeal not only to movie fans, but also to all enthusiasts of multiplayer horror games. In the game, you and your friends find yourselves in a horrifying environment where you must fight for survival against a merciless chainsaw-wielding killer. The cooperative mode allows you to team up with other players to face the threat together. The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria. This is a cooperative survival game set in the universe of the Lord of the Rings with procedurally generated worlds. Players control dwarves descending into the mines of Moria, where orcs and other dangers dwell after Sauron's demise. Eight versatile dwarves set out to search for ancient ruins, encountering various activities along the way, building bases for defense against the darkness, gathering resources, ores, and gems, as well as exploring the depths of the Moria mines. The most dangerous enemies await them there, so the heroes must prepare well, crafting weapons, armor, and tools for equipment repair beforehand. Helldivers 2 If you've always wanted to play a high-quality game based on the cult movie Starship Troopers, then Helldivers 2 will surely interest you. Although it's not directly related to the 90s action flick, it bears a strong resemblance. As in the famous film, you'll have to battle against an army of giant bugs. Space Marines must land on one of the hostile planets and withstand the fierce attacks of enraged bugs. Doing so is extremely challenging, but powerful support from orbit will come to our aid. You'll undertake dangerous missions in a team of four, destroying enemy nests and gathering valuable data on various planets. Gameplay features a wide arsenal of weapons, equipment, and tactical options. The main challenge is not to accidentally kill your comrades, who can easily fall victim to friendly fire. That's one of the game's quirks. Dead Island 2 a fine example of a zombie action game built around the brutality and atmosphere of post-apocalypse. Here, with two friends, players can try to escape from the zombie-infested Los Angeles, completing various missions, discovering weapon-crafting recipes, and looting homes in the semi-destroyed city. The game features an interesting skill upgrade system based on playing cards, as well as trademark humor. Gameplay-wise, Dead Island 2 is a meaty action game where we spend 90% of the time smashing zombie skulls and the remaining 10% repairing and upgrading weapons, as well as searching for useful junk. The game's locations are relatively small but richly detailed. The plot is more of a formality, but weapon and character upgrades are quite diverse, 
Combinations of these aspects can significantly affect the gameplay. Cassette Beasts This RPG with elements of Pokemon-style games allows you to explore the world, battle wild creatures, and collect them in your collection. Gameplay features tactical battles, character customization, and exploration of various locations. The cooperative mode lets you explore the world and battle together with a friend on one screen. A standout feature of the gameplay is the ability to transform into local inhabitants. Fighters need to transform into monsters for their combat characteristics, without which victory in battle is impossible. Players will have to find and defeat 120 dangerous creatures, after which they can leave the island. Meet Your Maker is a post-apocalyptic blend of shooter, strategy, and puzzle elements, where players build fortified outposts and deadly traps to protect the most valuable resource in the world. The near future has turned the planet into a fiery hell, and the few survivors are building highly fortified bases to store the resources necessary for survival. The most valuable resource is pure genetic material, which fuels the development of chimeras, living beings meant to save the remnants of humanity. To protect it, kilometers of cunning traps must be built. The cooperative gameplay is designed for two players who construct powerful outposts with numerous defensive systems, automated turrets, robots with artificial intelligence, and traps. If the erected perimeter withstands the onslaught of five raiders, all your constructions and traps gain experience progression, becoming even more impregnable. Sengoku Dynasty is an adventure survival simulator set in medieval Japan. Building plays an important role here. Constructing buildings in the game is long and challenging, as numerous parameters must be considered and resources are constantly scarce. We need to provide our village with everything it needs, gradually transforming it into a city. Friends can help speed up this process so the game unfolds differently in cooperative mode. The game features beautiful graphics, a storyline necessary for progression, deep crafting, and diverse constructions. Houses can be upgraded by changing their walls. Remnant 2. In the storyline, as a result of revolutionary scientific experiments, humanity opened the door to other dimensions, from where a dangerous parasite invaded Earth, infecting the planet and turning most people into mutants. In the sequel, many of the original shortcomings have been addressed, making it significantly better overall. The action is renowned for its excellently implemented procedural generation, which creates unique situations each time, altering the landscape and enemy placement. We'll explore locations in search of useful items and weapons and defeat various bosses using both melee and ranged weapons. Remnant 2, while not perfect, is still an engaging game that will entertain both you and your friends. In cooperative mode for up to three players, we'll assume specific roles, weapons, and items. However, playing cooperatively won't be easier as the game scales the difficulty level. Raven's Watch is a fantasy action RPG with an open world and roguelike elements, where you embark on adventures in a mysterious kingdom. In the company of up to four players, we challenge the nightmares that have filled the world. The characters in this game are the main heroes of fairy tales. For example, there's Little Red Riding Hood with an assassin class who turns into a powerful wolf at night. In total, the game features six characters, including Aladdin, Ratcatcher, and the Snow Queen. The heroes have five skills, with the sixth unlocking at the last level. Leveling up grants access to random modifiers, and the acquired equipment affects various character parameters. The game also features a day-night cycle that affects gameplay and the environment, Small and Survive the Wilds is a unique survival game where you shrink to the size of a small creature and try to survive in a world of giants. Gameplay features resource gathering, shelter building, and the struggle for survival. We'll survive in the micro world, battling insects, exploring grassy forests, traversing giant puddles, and climbing towering trees. Unlike another project with a similar setting, Grounded, Smallen style is more realistic in graphics and magical in lore. We'll encounter fairies, magical creatures, and mysterious ruins. Notable features include the ability to tame animals, 
seasonal changes, and cooperative play for up to 10 people. Skur Ritual is a first-person horror shooter with hordes of elite monsters with supernatural abilities. The storyline tells the story of an island from where various monsters spread across the world. As a team of four heroes, we land on the island and then withstand waves of attacks from different creatures. At first, it will be easy, but the difficulty will increase with each new wave, escalating to complete madness around you. You can buy new weapons and upgrade them to more powerful versions as you progress. Random enemies will drop power-ups that have limited duration. Bosses differ from each other and each has its own strength. Sons of the Forest is a sequel to the popular survival game that expands on the ideas of the first installment and improves familiar mechanics. The cooperative and crafting systems have been revamped, the open world is significantly larger, and the enemies are more diverse. The main character sets out to search for a missing billionaire, but as per the genre's laws, things don't go as planned, and we're forced to survive on the island, coexisting with cannibal natives and various mutants. This entails a lot of crafting, fighting for our lives, and uncovering the island's secrets. All of this can be done in the company of up to eight players. Overall, Sons of the Forest is an excellent continuation of the series and a fantastic game for all survival and horror fans. The unique world, captivating storyline, and enhanced gameplay make this game one of the best in its genre. Grand Blue Fantasy, Reling. This adventure takes us to the expanses of the celestial realm, where players must assume the role of a captain and embark on a perilous journey with their crew. Gameplay focuses on numerous battles. With a squad of unique heroes, players can bring the boldest ideas to life. Teamwork is of paramount importance, allowing for special chain attacks. As for missions, they can be completed both solo and with the support of other players. Taking down powerful enemies with a four-player cooperative team will be much more fun. Sunken Land According to the game's plot, global warming has melted the glaciers at the Earth's poles, causing a global rise in sea levels. All countries and continents have gone underwater, leaving only the roofs of skyscrapers above the surface. The post-apocalyptic gameplay primarily emphasizes survival and world exploration, requiring players to board a raft and head towards the protruding objects above the water. These places are in a state of emergency, but they hold food, weapons, tools, and resources to upgrade the vehicle. On the islands, players can engage in farming, build stationary houses, and repair ships. In cooperative mode, up to 10 players can play together. Enshrouded is an RPG with survival simulator elements, featuring building and crafting mechanics, set in a vast voxel continent where players will fight and survive solo or in a 16-player cooperative mode. The gameplay follows genre norms, requiring survivors to explore the deadly continent, delve into dungeons, battle misty bosses, and search for traces of various technologies. Players will have access to a plethora of materials and tools to craft weapons and equipment, build houses and vehicles, tailor clothing and footwear. The more technologies and knowledge we uncover, the greater our chances of survival. Trine 5. This is already the fifth installment in the series of platformer puzzles, and the developer's imagination still hasn't run out. Once again, the wizard, knight, and thief join forces. This time, they must stop an army of mechanical robots. The creators have prepared colorful locations, intricate puzzles, and three unique heroes, each with their own skills. Completing Trine 5 will be interesting even multiple times due to the high variability in puzzle solving. The game supports split-screen and cooperative play for up to four players. That's all for now. Leave a like. It's easy for you and it means a lot to me. The Image Game Channel was with you. Have a good day.